to know. In this week's video, we're going to be asking the question, how much will the cat score when I hold her? So you may be wondering, can you use an indoor security camera looking through the window to do outdoor security things? In this video, I'm going to answer that. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make your footage not look like this, and then more like this. Three, two, one. So if you're going to use your indoor cameras at night, you can't use the infrared LEDs because you get a big reflection on the window. So you have to have a way to light the outside. And so the way we do that is through motion, motion light. Uh, and so there's a couple different options you can do. So uh, this, the front door here has a uh, light bulb socket. So this is one option you can do. We picked this up on Amazon and it's just a normal bulb and it's got that little, uh, little nipple on the bottom and that will uh, detect your motion so you can just leave the light switch on and when it's dark and there's motion it will automatically turn on. So if you don't have a power outlet where the other camera will be this is the option for what we do for the back one by my van. So uh, this is just a solar panel uh, light and it's motion detector as well. Also I should mention with the solar panel this stays charged so you never have to charge this because this gets a lot of sun here. All right, so uh, I use, uh, my security cameras are by Eufy Security, so let's open that up and uh, let's go through the settings that I wanna show you guys. So we have uh, motion detection, of course, is on, and then, so we have, I have uh, detection preferences for everything, so it will record anything. It doesn't have to be a pet or a human, it will record everything. Um, I've got my notifications turned off for um, other motion, but it still records it, so just in case something does happen, we still got it on camera. Um, however, on both of them, I did have to lower down the sensitivity um, so I don't get uh, a bunch of false, de false detections. Um, you may have to set up a uh, recording area, an activity area like I have here, um, just so you don't get a bunch of false, false alerts like when this tree blows in the wind or uh, if a light turns on and it l illuminates these walls or whatever. So that's it for the motion detection, um, video settings. This is the big one. So you have to turn off auto night vision. So this is the one that turns on and off the infrared LEDs. So when the infrared LEDs are on, it looks like this. So you definitely don't want that, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, you can turn off the status LED, but uh, we just have that uh, on. And uh, I guess that'll be easier. I cover it with tape, um, but you, <laughs> you could just turn off the LED because uh, that's easier. That's pretty much all you need to do with the app. And I'm sure uh, if you have a different uh, brand of security camera, it will be similar, but a little bit different. I hope this answers some questions you guys may have had about using indoor cameras, looking through windows outdoors. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to finish the video at uh, some local wildlife we've got through the security cameras in the last week. Thanks for watching. Peace.